um, over the weekend, Friday night, Elizabeth Warren had a Twitter battle with uh, Donald Trump. And the reason it's not news, but I'll mention it, is because there's no big surprise. There's no surprise whatsoever that a liberal progressive politician is going to think and say and believe, and I, as, as well as I do, that Donald Trump is a cretin, right? That's not news. It's not even worth mentioning in a headline. But what is worth mentioning is the, the type of behavior that Donald Trump is able to get other people to behave in, to carry themselves in. Some of the tweets on Friday night from Elizabeth Warren were spot on. They were great. I didn't want to hear them because she hasn't said anything else in this primary. She didn't say anything to support or go against Bernie Sanders. She didn't say anything to support or go against Hillary Clinton. She just sat on the sideline. And to me, I talked about this last week. That's a sign of 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 cowardice, in my opinion. It is what it is. Right. We are waging an, an ideological philosophical war in the Democratic Party and the people on the left. And for the for the very definition of progressivism and, and Elizabeth Warren set out. And so it's not news for her to jump in and attack Donald Trump. But what is news is that uh, Donald Trump was able to get her out of character. And for some of her tweets, uh, calling Donald Trump lame and talking about him coming back in his tweets and basically having a Twitter feud instead of using Twitter as a means of communicating your idea in a forceful and intelligent way. She actually had one tweet in there, which, you know, it gets the best of us. And, you know, I, I've had some I've had one or two. I've had one or two that I actually the one I sent about Elizabeth Warren, you know, so we can't be flawless all the time. But. I mentioned that because Donald Trump has the ability to pull people out of character, and that is his number one gift. That is his number one tactic, and I don't think the Democrats are ready. They're trying to run Hillary Clinton against him, and Hillary Clinton and Elizabeth Warren, if, this, if what you guys have done and presented so far is your best, against the type of childishness and rhetoric and vitriol that Donald Trump is going to throw at you, then the left side of America is in trouble because Donald Trump is coming full force. And you cannot respond to Donald Trump with his same, you can't out stupid Donald Trump. Donald Trump is as stupid as they come. You cannot, uh, you can't. And so you shouldn't try. Look at Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio, like, I don't like Marco Rubio's politics, but he was a pretty shrewd politician until, <laughs> until this primary, right? And in this primary, he tried to go heads up with Donald Trump, and he tried to go heads up with Donald Trump's stupidity, and it backfired on him. So the moral of the story is, one, twofold. One, why wait till now? to say something, Elizabeth Warren. I'm gonna ask that every single week. But then two more importantly, do not let Donald Trump bring you down to his size because he is better at being dumb. He's better at being stupid. He's better, and we expect that of him, and we expect so much more out of people that we think are, that we think fondly of. Simple as that.